Uh, awesome. So like I was saying, uh, I'm here in, in Oakland, California. There are a lot of protesters right outside City Hall right now. So you might hear some of them during the pitch and I apologize in advance. Um, but we are TLDR. Um, so back in March, there was a bill that reached the Senate floor and it was a bill that was uh, to provide victims of human trafficking with justice. Now, a very similar bill breezed through the House and the same was expected of the Senate. But a last minute discovery of a key provision in that bill, which prevented victims of human trafficking from spending federal assistance on abortion related services, the Senate Democrats all withdrew their support from the bill. Now, as a, an elected official, how do you explain your nay vote on a bill that on the surface looks like something that you had promised you would champion for your constituents? So this case is something that's pretty par for the course uh, for a day on the Hill, but because of the large trust gap and also the lack of engagement between voters and their elected representatives, plus the absence of a way for elected representatives to go um, on record about how they voted on a bill, the instance that I've just described only breeds more distrust. Now, TLDR provides a very structured way for elected representatives or their staffers to go on record about how they are planning to vote on a bill or how they have already voted on a bill. Um, so with that, Stephen, I'm gonna throw the, throw the ball back to you to do a quick demo. And where did it go? Um, and perhaps while, while Stephen's uh, working out the tech, uh, I'll just describe uh, what TLDR Gov would be. So uh, what we mean by a structured way of electeds going on record is that on a dashboard where staffers or the elected representatives sign in, um, they will see that the bills uh, that they are voting on or have already voted on, all of that is auto loaded on the dashboard. And there is a comment box under each bill that allows them to go on record and explain why they voted nay, for example, on um, S. I, 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 Heidi, you came up. So, oh, great. Thanks, Stephen. Uh, so this is what we built. Um, as a staffer, you can go to your staffer dashboard, and it will automatically load in all the bills that have recently been passed. And so you can uh, go in and edit and comment on to explain your vote. So if it, uh, again, with the example we described, if it seems like something you would have voted yes on, but there's a more nuanced reason, you can enter that in. And so an individual, uh, when they sign up, they can get this dashboard, which will show all of their representatives from the local level to the federal level, and it gives them an explanation of everything that they're doing in government and why they're doing it, but also in a way that's understandable for the average person. Because the, the main problem we're trying to solve here is not information. All the information is there. What this is is a presentation layer. It's a way that normal people can understand it. You can go in and you can tag different interests. Um, and then if you go to your settings, you can subscribe to weekly summaries and notifications. So if there's a bill on healthcare and you feel passionately about that, you'll be notified about that. And also representatives can know who among their constituents are passionate about certain things. So you're not blasting people with information that they don't care about and that they unsubscribe from. So essentially, TLDR gives elected representatives a direct access to their constituents, allowing for more transparency of governance and opportunities for uh, further civic engagement. Mm -hmm. And uh, one last thing, I did a, a personal hack for about an hour yesterday. The uh, US Senate website looked like it needed some updating. Uh, so I went ahead and redid it. Um, it's mobile responsive. Uh, cleaned up a lot of problems, outdated technology, uh, commented out code blocks, you name it. Um, I have a full report I can give anybody. Um, I, I think this is kind of information that's ineffectively communicated is useless. And so that's a lot of the problem why you know, young, young people feel disengaged and disenfranchised. Thank you. Thank you. Questions?
I like the structure, but the real challenge is what is going to incentivize the Congress members to really engage in this fully? Mm -hmm. I mean, if I, I don't know whether I would all want that information to be that transparent. I mean, um, so so I think I can speak to that. Um, so as as a staffer, we are getting a lot of phone calls from constituents about how our the representative is voting on a certain bill, or uh, about to vote on a certain bill. So this uh, TLDR effectively uh, eliminates the need for those phone calls to happen. And so I don't know if there are fellow staffers in the room over there, but if uh, part of my day could be freed up because I don't have to take those phone calls. That would be terrific. Um, I know that some other elected representatives are currently using Facebook to uh, share how they're voting on bills that are coming up. Uh, now, that is a viable platform, but it also uh, takes a lot of time because a lot of it is content generation, right? So the staffers are actually, actually typing in the content of the bills and then typing in a further explanation. Now, TLDR Gov, because the bills are auto-loaded, uh, all the staffer or the elected representatives, if they're doing it themselves, all they would have to do is type in that comment, um, and that would be it. So it is a complete time saver. And again, as Stephen was saying, the structured way of going on record and the structured way of presenting this information uh, really is uh, allows for it to be uh, done so in a, in a, digest, a digestible format um, and a, a complete time saver. And also just to add one more point to that, um, there are lots of other communication channels that all could be automated through this. So if, if you wanted the option, we could have it automatically post to Twitter and Facebook and other things like that. But a lot of those platforms are very noisy uh, and, and messy. And if you've ever read YouTube comments, it's not the greatest place to have uh, constructive dialogue. So that's kind of what we're trying to create. Absolutely. Are the, are the vote explanations that staffers are going to enter, are those going to be made available in an open way for others to use? So uh, all of the dashboards are public. So you could look up any elected official, uh, theoretically, from local government to the federal. If you sign up and create your own account, then you create a personalized dashboard. So actually, what I mean is, could I take the explanations and slurp them into GovTrack? Um, you could. And we're actually, we're getting data from you, so. <laughs> Would you think about adding anything um, related to processes? Because that's a big part. I mean, you know, a lot of it has comes down to procedural votes uh -huh. and trying to clarify that for the layperson because I know process isn't sexy and it's hard to, yeah. you know, work around that sometimes. But uh, you, and you don't want to end up saying, I voted for it before I voted against it, and that's kind of the point yeah it, that that's exactly the point is you don't want some bill that looks like a no brainer that you voted against because of a technicality that haunts you the next election and the average person doesn't understand all the nuances and all the terms of government so we even we even considered with titles removing the hr 11 etc that to an average person means absolutely nothing and is just more clutter in the system that keeps them from understanding it can i ask one more question actually Sure. So I was a judge in San Francisco and saw this idea in the early stages, and I'm, I, we're supposed to judge based on what you've done uh, this weekend, so I want to know what's new. Um, so what, what's new is um, a lot of stuff on the back end that you don't see um, in the infrastructure. We created, uh, built it on Firebase, uh, pulling from different APIs, and we also built out a section for um, the staffers to log, uh, log in, create new accounts for their, their staffers, uh, comment on things, have that show up immediately in their feed. Um, and we also, which we unfortunately don't have quite yet, but we, um, it's a mobily responsive uh, site, so it can be wrapped up in a mobile app. So if you want to have it natively on your device and be able to get things like your location, things like that that could make the process even simpler, uh, we can easily do that. And it's cross-platform, you know, even BlackBerry Windows Phone.